U.S. intelligence officials have determined Vladimir Putin is being misinformed by his advisors about Russia's military struggles in Ukraine. That comes as Ukraine's president says the Russian invasion has reached a turning point. In a televised address last night, Zelensky said there is an ongoing negotiation process with Russia, but added, quote, these are still just words. Moscow steps up, meanwhile, attacks near Kyiv and other areas of Ukraine, despite vowing to scale back its offensive. NBC News chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel has the latest from on the ground. On the outskirts of Kharkiv, we followed Ukrainian troops to see what U.S. and British intelligence say Russian generals are too afraid to show their president, that the Russian military is losing ground and taking heavy losses. This was a Russian camp, and you can see they had all of their weapons here, dugout positions, and they were bombed. There's still some bodies in this area, and they left a lot of their equipment behind after what appears to have been a devastating attack on their position. There's nothing left. It seems these Russian troops never knew what hit them. Their uniforms were scattered everywhere, along with weapons and ammunition. Ukrainian soldiers helped themselves. Knocking out this position allowed Ukrainian forces to advance and take back the nearby village of Malorohan, where the Babkov family was enjoying their new freedom on the first day after Russian soldiers were kicked out. The bombings were horrible. The airstrikes were the worst, says Nadia. They took us to see where they'd been hiding. No electricity or lights. All right, I have a flashlight on my phone. Let's see if we can... They lived down in this tiny cellar for 27 days next to potatoes and pickles. Do you think the worst is over? I hope our soldiers tame this beast. The Russian president is deranged, says Leonid. Leonid's granddaughter, Alisa, spent her time drawing on the walls, images of happier times. It was my therapy to keep calm, she says. Wise words from a girl who just turned eight. Now she's drawing with her chalk outside. Down the road, 88-year-old Praskovia was sitting by herself, disoriented and frightened. I'm so afraid. My whole body is shaking, she says. At night, I cover myself in a blanket and I shake. Mostly, she wanted comfort. <laughs> Praskovia lived through World War II and says she doesn't have the strength to go through it all again. Oh, my God. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.